Here's more wrestling news for May 8th, 2023. And we're starting off with Backlash as Bad Bunny impressed WWE fans yet again with his match with Damian Priest, which saw the Grammy Award winner win the San Juan Street Fight. The match saw weapons, fighting outside the ring, surprise returns, and involvement by the LWO and the Judgment Day, and WWE called in a notable name to work backstage. PW Insider reports that WWE brought in Brian Kendrick to produce the match with Jamie Noble, despite the controversial remarks Kendrick has made in the past. It was these controversial remarks that cost Kendrick a role with AEW, but his producer work at Backlash isn't the only time he's worked behind the scenes. Kendrick worked from 2021 to 2022 as a backstage producer and was brought in for Survivor Series last November at the request of Ronda Rousey. As to whether Backlash will lead to something more for Kendrick, only time will tell, but the match he produced certainly impressed those who watched the San Juan Street Fight. One of the big returns that took place during the match was by Carlito, who came to the aid of Rey Mysterio while he was being beaten down by the Judgment Day. For the former United States and Intercontinental Champion, this was Carlito's first appearance for WWE in over two years, and his return has gone down incredibly well behind the scenes. Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select reports that WWE were very happy with Carlito's performance on the show, and many backstage spoke about how much Carlito had matured since his first WWE run. The response from the crowd in Puerto Rico is said to have been even better than expected, and there's a strong possibility that WWE will plan on working with him in the near future. There have been numerous pitches in recent years by WWE to work with Carlito, either for a small run or even full-time, and while his performance at Backlash was stated to be a one-off, that could always change. Speaking to the Metro prior to Backlash, Carlito was asked about a possible return to WWE and said, yeah, I'm open to whatever, any good offer from anywhere, it doesn't matter. The thing is, nobody calls me, so I don't sit by the phone either. If something comes up, great. If not, I keep doing what I'm doing. Given that Carlito wore an LWO shirt in Puerto Rico, it's entirely possible that he could be an honorary member. And would you want to see more of Carlito on WWE TV? Let us know in the comments. It's not just those backstage and the fans in Puerto Rico who are happy to see Carlito return, as his comeback has proven to be a hit on social media. As the WrestleOps Twitter account reported, Carlito's return reached over 8.2 million views across WWE's social media channels in less than 12 hours after he appeared at Backlash. There's clearly a lot of love for Carlito, and given the reaction he is continuing to garner on social media, WWE would be very wise to keep him around and make him an offer. Backlash also saw Brock Lesnar in action against Cody Rhodes, and the Beast Incarnate bled heavily in his war with the American Nightmare. Unfortunately for Lesnar, he wasn't able to keep up with Rhodes, and Cody's victory over Brock also marked the end of a near seven-year streak. Prior to Backlash, Lesnar hadn't been pinned in a non-title match since Survivor Series 2016, where the Beast lost in less than two minutes to the returning Bill Goldberg. Lesnar knows a thing or two about ending streaks, as he was infamously the one to break The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak, but now he knows what it's like to have an impressive streak broken. During the WWE draft, Zoe Stark was called up to Raw from NXT, and the former women's tag team champion is certainly one to watch. Not long after her call-up, it was reported that Stark had been seriously impressing important names behind the scenes, and we now know what's next for her. According to our sources, the plan is for Stark to have a dominant showing in her first match as a Raw superstar, which will be against Nikki Cross. Facing off against a former Raw Women's Champion is certainly quite the first impression for Stark, and are you excited to see her on the main roster? In the 1980s, two names were dominant in the world of professional wrestling, Hulk Hogan in the WWF and Ric Flair in the NWA. For years, the consensus has been that while Hogan was the bigger star in the mainstream, Flair was the better worker, but now one veteran is challenging that notion. When Chris Jericho, Brian Alvarez, and Big Vinny V. Vincent Verhey watched an episode of Saturday Night's Main Event during Talk is Jericho, the former AEW World Champion gave his hot take on Hogan and Flair. He said, I will say to this day, and people will bag, here's a clickbait, Hogan is a better worker than Flair. For me, I always had amazing matches with Hogan because he knew exactly who he was as a babyface, as a heel, whatever. He was so great. He knew his audience. He didn't do anything he didn't have to. It was one of my favorite times in my career. 
Jericho also pointed out that Hogan was such a star that fans didn't even acknowledge his receding hairline at the time, and joked that if the Hulkster was just getting started in the ring today, he'd likely have worn a toupee. Hogan and Flair are two of the biggest stars of all time, and have had many world championships each, but which do you think was the better worker? Sound off in the comments. Given the success of both Hogan and Flair, both men are two-time WWE Hall of Famers, and over the years, several names from wrestling pasts have received the nod. In 2006, Chavo Guerrero was one of three individuals to posthumously induct his uncle Eddie Guerrero into the Hall of Fame, but now Chavo has had some strong words about the Hall of Fame. Speaking to WrestleBinge, Chavo said that WWE rewrites the history of a lot of wrestlers who receive inductions, and went on to say, WWE rewrites, and this is not a bitter thing, just saying what it is, they rewrite wrestling history to really benefit WWE. Let's say the NFL. The NFL, I don't care if a player is in a lawsuit with the NFL, or if there's an issue with the player, if that player is deserving of being in the Hall of Fame, they put him in the Hall of Fame. WWE will only put wrestlers in the Hall of Fame that they are still on good terms with. It's not like they're putting people, well, some people turn them down, of course, but WWE rewrites wrestling history a little bit to benefit them. That's just, everybody knows that. Anybody who's in the business kind of sees that. WWE's selections for the Hall of Fame have often come under criticism by fans, with many arguing that WWE inducts stars simply for good press and that their accolades in the ring wouldn't warrant an induction. In WWE, Chavo was a multi-time tag team champion, cruiserweight champion, and an ECW world champion, but if his comments about WWE only inducting those they're on good terms with is true, it may be a long time before Chavo gets the nod. When Bray Wyatt went down with an illness in the weeks running up to WrestleMania, he was pulled from TV, and all references to him and his rumored match with Bobby Lashley were nixed. Since then, Wyatt has continued to be missing from TV, but the former Universal Champion did resurface online this past weekend. In an image that quickly went viral, Wyatt, alongside his partner Jojo Offerman, could be seen with former heavyweight champion Vlad Joseph and DJ Tommy Carlucci, and judging by the photo, Wyatt seems to be doing much better. During Backlash, a strange creature in the crowd holding a sign has caused fans to believe that Wyatt's return is in the works already, and while that remains to be seen, the former Universal Champion is looking a whole lot better. If you've been on Twitter for any period of time, you'll know that things can get pretty heated when it comes to wrestling news, and many are tribal about the companies they support. As of late, the topic of AEW's impressive ticket sales for the upcoming All In event has proven to be quite the talking point, and now an unlikely name has gotten into the mix. When Chris Jericho tweeted out to flex about All In's ticket sales, a fan said that the All In doesn't make up for AEW's decline in viewership in the US and said that it's a bit early to celebrate the upcoming Wembley event. When another fan fired back pointing out that Warner Media just gave AEW another show and that viewerships in a digital age is a poor way of measuring popularity, that response got a like from none other than Triple H. Unsurprisingly, the WWE COO did not explain why he liked this tweet defending AEW, and it's entirely possible that this was an accidental like by the game. With that said, Triple H may have intended the post, as it's believed he has a much better relationship with AEW than his father-in-law, and whatever the case, AEW All In continues to have everyone talking. And we're ending today with Sean Spears, who has been wrestling for years, but by his own admission, has never reached the pinnacle of the likes of WWE or AEW. Instead, Spears is happy being a journeyman part of the roster, being used in whatever role he's needed for, and he's now had some interesting comments on five-star matches. Speaking to WrestleZone, Spears refuted the idea of five-star matches, or matches that go above that ranking, and explained why, saying, I'll never have a 5-star match, in my opinion, or 7 stars, or whatever the ranking is nowadays. In my opinion, never. Never will I ever. A lot of people watching this will say, oh yeah, of course you won't. No, I won't, because I don't believe it exists, because there's always something to improve on somewhere. I learned that back in my NXT days under Shawn Michaels in his class. He doesn't watch a lot of his matches back. If he feels good about it, he lets it go. So I kind of understand that mindset a little bit. If I feel good about it, I let it go but I'll never have a five-star classic because I'll always find something that I could have done better. For many stars, the idea of having a five-star match is a huge deal, but Spears doesn't hold an accolade like that in high regard. And do you agree with his view on match star ratings?